the Loch Ness Monster is one of the most famous cryptids out there. Many lake monsters were considered to be dragon-like sea serpents in the early sightings. However, most of all lake monster sightings in modern times describe the beast to have long necks and large bodies with flippers. The Nessie does roughly resemble the average sea serpent, but it lives in the biggest freshwater lake in Scotland instead of the ocean. Witnesses tend to describe an animal with sleek, rubbery skin about 20 feet long. Nessie usually has the serpentine body that's typical for a sea serpent and lake monsters, furnished with humps along its length from one or more set of paddles. It was announced that a worldwide team of scientists plans to undertake a DNA hunt for the Loch Ness Monster. The scientists will scour Loch Ness and use environmental DNA in an experiment that might finally determine if the famous monster does exist. Environmental DNA sampling has been established already as a monitoring tool for marine life. It's been used on animals such as sharks and whales. When a creature passes by the environment, it always leaves small fragments of DNA. This may come from its skin, fur or scales. When scientists get hold of this, it then allows them to identify the creature that has left it. The way it works is the DNA is passed through a large database of all known creatures. The Loch Ness Monster is nothing new. The first record that was written about the creature related to St. Columba, an Irish monk. He was said to have banished the monster into the Loch Ness during the 6th century. He described it as a beast that lived in the water. Over the years, many photographs have been taken that are said to prove the existence of the Loch Ness Monster. One of the most famous is the surgeon's photo. This was a photograph taken in 1934 and it revealed a head that was on a long neck coming out of the water. It was not until 60 years later that it was found to be a hoax, using the model of a sea monster that had been attached to a toy submarine and put in the lock. Many scientists have attempted to track down the Loch Ness Monster over the years. A new team searching for the Loch Ness Monster involves scientists from the UK, United States, Denmark, Australia and France. All have expressed their keenness to take part in the expedition, and said it's much more than the hunt for a monster. Finding evidence of the Loch Ness Monster is at the heart of the project, but there is also a great deal of knowledge to learn about the many organisms that live in the Loch Ness. The team are hoping to document new species of life, with the emphasis being on bacteria, and said they would provide data on the extent of new species that are invasive, which was seen in the Loch recently. People known as cryptozoologists have speculated about whether all the plesiosaurs really went extinct 65 million years ago, along with their dinosaur cousins. The waters that cover our planet are vast, deep and dark, so somewhere, somehow, a colony of plesiosaurs might have survived. Vast regions of the world's oceans remain to be explored, and it doesn't defy belief that a living plesiosaur may be living in the deep. So what do you guys think? Does the Loch Ness Monster exist? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.